So Evelina, where are we right now? Now we are in Vollerim, in Lapland, at the Arctic Circle in Sweden. And these two days uh, is, the, is, the, is the crowdsourcing week uh, or the summit uh, Arctic Circle. Uh, what's happening the next two days? The next two days we will uh, have a lot of uh, exciting people uh, coming here, meeting together with all their different skills and competence to uh, uh, really, really talk to each other uh, and uh, exchange uh, experiences to uh, accelerate the sustainable uh, development and future. And what's the link uh, with this place and crowdsourcing? Oh, uh, uh, Volrim, actually we didn't know about it, but uh, uh, Volrim is good at crowdsourcing. <laughs> so we have uh, in like 10-15 years, the village have uh, uh, starting up different companies and different projects, uh, crowdsourcing. It. It's from the grassroots by themselves, have starting uh, different initiatives to fix things that are needed in the village. And why, why did you want to organize the, the crowdsourcing summit over here? Uh, because I think you're already doing a, a really good job. Yes, we're doing a good job uh, in, in one way, but uh, we also have a lot of things to learn. And uh, I think the mix with a lot of different people knowledge could evolve and do even more good here. But maybe also we can have a piece to the puzzle to other because it, if it could be done here, in this rural, small, tiny village in the middle of nowhere, it could be done ev anywhere. Yeah, because uh, especially in the media, the attention goes to the big examples. Yes. Like the Ubers and the Airbnbs, when we're talking about crowdsourcing and collaborative economy. Um, what do you think uh, uh, is advantage for crowdsourcing for such a local communities? I think maybe that is the future thing. That is uh, uh, finally a way for small uh, places to do something good uh, and get help from, even if you don't get help from the bank, you can get help from uh, crowd, both with uh, knowledge, uh, with uh, networks, uh, with connections uh, and economy. And what do you want to get out of these two days? So uh, today it's, 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 uh, it's, it's first day, so tomorrow at the end of the day uh, it's, it's finished. Uh, when are you happy? Uh, what result do you want to get out of these two days? Oh, I'm already happy. It feels so exciting. <laughs> All these great people uh, meeting each other, locals and people from everywhere. And I think the mix of so much uh, competence and uh, the potential of that makes me very happy. And I really think that we can uh, do things after this, that this is just uh, a beginning of, some of the next step to together to develop a sustainable future and accelerate uh, uh, the society as a sustainable society and do more together uh, and uh, also uh, get more conscious about uh, these kind of questions. And when you uh, would advise other uh, communities uh, uh, to use crowdsourcing, what are the, the, the let's say, three main lessons from Volerim you want to share? I think the most important thing is that it comes from the grassroots by grassroots by themselves. It's not something that is uh, uh, initiated by someone out from the outside or from the top. It's from the grassroots and it's from the needs that uh, are needed in your place. Uh, so what is important for you in your community and uh, what, can, what do you need to do to fix that? And go together and do that. And it's easy. Just do it. So just fix it. Just fix it. <laughs> <laughs>